Hey guys, how's it going? Today I am going to trim back my Persian shield plant. It's a little bit overgrown as you can see on this one. That one I already trimmed back already. Um, but in my preparation to get ready to move, I think I'm going to... I ran out of pots, so I've got to make room to plant a couple plants that I want to take with me. These pots I'm going to take with me. So I'm going to trim it back, see how many room, like how much room I have left in it, and then try to plant a couple things inside of it. Um, this Persian shield is pretty massive. So I'm just going to go in, do a hard prune, see where I'm at. I want to keep the uh, Persian shield. I love plant and the structure and the color it provide. But as you can see down here, since I cut all that back, look at how much room I have in here. So I can actually put two plants in here. So that'll be nice. And then what I'm thinking is planting two of my, um, um, what do you call it? I keep forgetting now. It's the... Uh, is it Japanese magnolia, I believe? Yeah, okay, oops, sorry. Okay, so I've got three, actually, Japanese magnolia. See that one with the weird leaf right there? And then there's one in the middle right here. And then I have one all the way over here. This one. So I'm gonna remove those three, put them in the pots, and then hopefully transplant them in my next place. Sorry, I'm going to try to adjust this so I can get a better angle. This is my uh, yellow magnolia. Hopefully I don't damage the root system. Oops, that snapping sound doesn't sound good. Yeah, leave it in here, people. Pretty good, actually. Oh, man. It's rooted in here really good. Give it one year, I didn't think it would have been this bad. I chopped quite a bit of the rootstock. All right, let me walk that way. Alrighty. Look at that rootstock. It's only one year's growth, but definitely looked like I chopped some roots. So that's one. Let me try to get the other. I think I'm only gonna be able to fit two, probably not three, in that little pot. This is 
the saucer magnolia. Massive root in here, and I don't know what is what. down to the red clay. Can you see that? So it's reaching and grabbing for that red clay. There's the second one. Let's go grab the third one. The third one is oddly situated over here. And although they're all the same size, when I put them into the ground, you can see the height difference. So probably the different variation of the plant. This is the star magnolia. It's hard to dig in a flower bed when you have so many other plants you're trying to not damage. Look at this one. This one really rooted in. Just gonna knock some of that dirt loose before I put it in the pot. Ready. Woo! All right. Let's take these over to the pot. Sorry, I really need a cameraman. <laughs> need to have more friends that can assist. All right. So we're going to try to put it in the pot. Well, that's easier said than done. I'm not sure how exactly it's going to fit in that pot. All right, this one, I knocked off the Georgia red clay here. So I just have the root ball. Oh, goodness. I think this one will be easier to plant over here. Just gonna have to shuffle the soil around. So 
This is the saucer magnolia. They, they bloom in the springtime. And they're so beautiful. The blooms come before the leaves come. So they, they're deciduous, they drop their leaves. And then in the springtime, the plant will be covered with this beautiful flower, depending on the variety you have. And then after that comes all the leaves. All right. I might remove the coleus because the coleus are easier to um, propagate. So is the Persian shield. So basically I need the room mainly for my Japanese magnolia. Maybe we'll put this back in after I plant that other one. bit of a bigger root ball. This is the star magnolia. I think I'm going to trim back the root ball a little bit. like that so it's easier to put into the ground. Don't really want to do that on me. Huh? Okay. I'm going to gently put it in. And put the soil over top of it. There we go. How's that look? <laughs> well, now it's going to have to do, and then I will take this plant planter with me. We move and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one and plant the other one in that one. This one also has the elephant ear, which is kind of tedious because that elephant ear gets really big. Ooh. Okay, I might take out actually the Persian shield since I already have one over there, then I can propagate that one and get more. I think I'm going to remove this one. Maybe plant it in the ground somewhere. I'll have room for the third saucer magnolia. Okay. Here is the third one. This is actually the yellow bird, uh, yellow bird magnolia. So I'm gonna just trim it just a little bit so I can fit it in there. 
nice and easy. I already shook off the dirt and sand. go give it a good feed water and it should be good I'm gonna go plant this in the front hang on one second you see me I'm over here <laughs> I'm going to have to give those guys a drink. You see it? Closer shot. Everything looks like it fits in nicely. Come over here. See, I got a couple of Persian Shield planted into the ground already. So I'll put one more right there. Actually, I might move it over here. go that one is in the ground and then I'll just let mother nature do its thing it looks like it's gonna rain and hopefully she'll water it in for me hey Zena she likes to check my work out after I'm done I guess I do have another magnolia that I do want to dig up here's another one right here that I'm going to take with me. So I'm going to dig that up. But like I said, we're putting the house up for market. I hate to come in and dig all the flowers that I want to take with me. And I am running out of pots. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of messy, but I'm going to show you my pots. Gardening is pretty messy. Eventually, I'm going to have everything all straightened out and in pristine condition. But for now, those are all the pots I want to be taking with me. Crazy, right? But we all know, we're all gardeners, we understand, right? Those are the loves. I do need to dig up some of the plants in here. I'm going to take this um, butterfly bush that I train into a standard. I'm going to take this guy with me too. Wow, it's really dark. Sorry about that. I think it's fixing to rain on us. I think that's about it, you guys, for this project. I hope you guys are having a great day and a great weekend. Enjoy it with your family and your friends. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.